Let me guess, if you've been struggling with your putting, you've had people tell you, hey, you gotta keep your head still. Or maybe they say, you know what, your stroke is too short and jabby, it's gotta be long and smooth. Or maybe even, you're not making putts because you don't have a good shape to your putting motion. Well, I'm here to tell you this. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy, and I'm about to tell you how we can debunk those myths and more importantly, give you three great drills that's gonna definitely improve your putting. The most common advice that people get when they're struggling with their putting is that they got to keep their head perfectly still. Well, we're going to talk about that in detail. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope you do so because we're doing the best we can to produce some great content that's helping people play better golf all over the globe. And also, we love hearing from you. Don't be afraid to leave a comment, even if you disagree with what I said. That's okay. I do my best to respond to all of them because at the end of the day, we just want to help you play better golf. Now. Here's why I don't necessarily 100% agree with that you got to keep your head perfectly still when you putt because a little bit of head movement, I'm not saying that I encourage it, but it isn't going to keep you from really hitting good putts. What's most important is that you stay steady with your body, okay? It's not the head movement. I can stand here and make a putting motion and my head can move all over, but if my body stays nice and steady, I can still deliver good impact conditions when, it's, when I'm putting. But when you start moving your body, that's when everything starts to change. When I'm set in there and my body starts moving around, even if my head is still, but my arms are moving, you know, everything's moving independently, now I have some real issues. So the first drill I want to give you is nothing to do with keeping your head still. It has to do with keeping your body still. And it's very simple. I use this one with even my tour professional. So here's pretty simple. All you're going to do is you're going to balance on your lead foot. So for me, that's my left foot. I'm just going to balance on my left foot. I'm going to hit some putts, and all I want to feel is feeling nice and steady when I'm making those motions. If I can stay nice and steady on one foot, when I stand on two feet, it's going to be really simple and really easy. So that's tip number one. And the first myth I want to debunk a little bit is that you got to keep your head perfectly still. On a side note to that, I didn't really even plan on talking about this, but when people tell you to keep your head down and keep it still, what happens? It creates tension. All right, you cannot putt if you got a lot of tension. Believe me, I've tried it, it doesn't work. So that's the first tip I want to give you. Keep the body steady. Don't worry so much about the head. And there's a great drill for you to do that. Now the second suggestion that I hear all the time is that you got to have this long, smooth putting motion. Now there are some golfers who have had long, smooth putting motions and have been good putters. Okay, I'm not denying that. But I think the vast majority of them have a motion that I'm going to say um, kind of has, it's like an authoritative motion. Okay, it's confident. It's not jabby, okay, but it's confident and has something to it. So I like my students to feel that the forward motion, the forward motion is just a little bit shorter than the backstroke. So where some people would say, hey, you got to be 50-50 on both sides of the golf ball. Don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I like more of like a 60 back, 40 through, because I want them to feel as that the putter's coming into the ball, that it's delivering some energy to it, all right? Now, I'm not saying that you want to pop it or jab it, okay? Don't, don't, don't misconstrue what I'm talking about here. We want it, but we do want the putter to be slightly accelerating. So the tip and the drill that I use, if, if you have a tendency to have a really long follow through, Okay, a really long follow through, this is the drill, this is the drill for you. What you're going to do is you're basically going to put a golf ball down. Now do this drill from about four or five feet. Take two tees, put them right beside the ball. And the ball is going to be right in the middle, so you can still make contact with the ball, but you're not going to be able to make a follow through and hit some putts. And I want you to feel what it's like to deliver the putter to the ball with some energy. All right, And then you just hold that finish. And what you're going to feel is like, wow, that feels really solid. Now, the first couple times you do it, my guess is you're probably not going to get the ball to the hole because you're used to pushing the ball to the hole. Bad idea, bad idea. And that's a great drill that you can do to help you with that. On a side note on that drill, it can also help you, okay, deliver a nice square face alignment so that when you hit the tees, you should hit both of the tees at the same time. If you're hitting the inside tee for a right-handed golfer, all right, the face is probably a little bit open. If you're hitting an outside tee first with the toe, the, the, the putter could be slightly closed. So that's a little bit of a tip on how you can do that. Now the third tip that I hear a lot of golfers get when they're struggling with their putting is that you got to have the perfect shape of the stroke, this kind of perfect arc. Now there's a lot of training needs out there that work on the arc and I'm, once again, I'm, I, some of my fellow golf instructors are probably watch this, they're going to disagree but that's okay. I, I, there's not a perfect arc, everybody's a little bit different but what's more important 
is control of the face. You gotta deliver a face, okay, that's nice and square. So this drill that, that uh, one of my, actually one of my students, one of my students shared with me is what I call the dime drill. So here's how it's gonna work. I like to use an alignment rod. Okay, some of you could use a you could use a regular golf club if you want to, but alignment rod works best. You need alignment rod and you need two tees that are the same length. So what you're gonna do is you need to find a flat area on the putting green, okay, and preferably not to a cup. Flat area in the putting green, not to a cup. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the alignment rod on the ground, you're gonna measure off uh, with the tee, and you're gonna put a tiny little dot with a sharpie. And don't, don't worry, it's not gonna kill the green if you take put a tiny little dot there with a the sharpie because we're gonna need that spot here in a second. And then you're gonna take the other tee and you're gonna measure it off. That's just why it's important the tees are the same, the same length, okay? And you're gonna put a dime down there. Now, I like to use a dime uh, because it's small and the ball will roll over it. Uh, if it's too hard, you could use a quarter, but I like to use a dime. So basically what you do is you create this little spot here. You got a little, little dot on the green and then you've got the dime. All right, and then what you're gonna do is put the ball on the dot, and you're just gonna try to roll the ball over the dime, over the dime, over the dime. And what you're working on there is controlling the face, delivering a square face angle at the moment of impact. And that's what's most important when it comes to putting. Is the path of the direction or the shape that the putter, that the putter head is working important? Yeah, it's important, don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as important as controlling the face. And this is a wonderful drill that you can do to help you with that. So let's recap what we've learned here today. As I said earlier, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to leave a comment. Maybe you like what I said, maybe you disagree. That's okay. We've also got a tons of videos on putting. Putting setup, I mean, all kinds of different things. If you need some other help on your putting, be sure to check those out. So here's kind of the three myths I wanna debunk a little bit today. Number one is that you gotta keep your head perfectly still. It's nice that the head is still, but what's more important is that the body is nice and steady. Number two, that you need this long, smooth, fantasy land stroke in order to hit a good putt. Having a putting motion that's a little bit shorter with a little bit more authority is a good thing. We don't wanna jab it, but that's a good thing. Okay, and third and finally, the path of the motion is important, but what is king of the hill is face control. That drill I give you with the dime there can definitely work with that. So hey, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching all of this. We really appreciate it. I hope this helps you improve your putting. And I hope it kind of helps understand really what's important to being a good putter. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to leave a comment, and be sure to check back because we're doing our best each and every day to provide great content that can help you play better golf. The third one that we want to talk about is I don't remember. You know what? Your stroke is too smooth and smooth. Stroke is too jabby. All right. Leave it. So the mo <clears throat> and then I can then 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 we I might go then we might be go a little wider and maybe even when you talk about like little little.